Trump was targeted by them. And, and they, they got exposed because their text messages got exposed, showing that they were conspiring together to try to stop Donald Trump from becoming president. And now this guy sues the Justice Department and in a case that he's going to lose. And so what does Joe Biden's Justice Department do? They settle and give him a million point two, one point two million dollars. A guy who was leading the investigation into Donald Trump, a bullshit charge of him colluding with Russia. Joe Biden's Justice Department, this just settled because the guy was going to lose that case if it went to court. So they're taking care of the people who lied for the establishment. That's what they're doing. People who are doing the dirty work for the establishment of undermining Donald Trump's presidency and pushing a conspiracy theory to de discredit Donald Trump. They're now being paid off for doing that work. That's the government paying them off. That's the establishment. And of course, this this will there will be no outrage in the country over this because the media says it's not outrageous. They say that Trump was attacking that guy. That's how my that's how my old roommate's going to see it. He's going to read it in the New York Times. He's going to hear it on MSNBC. Oh, good, they took care of that guy that Trump was attacking. No, that guy's a criminal, and he was going to lose that lawsuit. And Joe Biden's Justice Department just gave that guy a $1.2 million payoff. The whole goddamn thing is corrupt. Your media is corrupt. Your government is corrupt. Your Justice Department is corrupt. And pretending, and that, that's why they have to pretend that Trump invented lying in Washington, D.C., and Trump in, invented uh, corruption in Washington, D.C. The whole thing is corrupt. These people who claim that there's. They're putting democracy on the ballot are the people who are undermining democracy at every turn. It's a it's a comedy now. How um now you don't even get to vote for the person who's the nominee.